CBS News Science and Futurist contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at the City University of New York and joins us at the table. We know it's not good if you're sitting at the table, Michio Kaku, but we are glad you're here. <laughs> so we started getting calls here yesterday, call Los Angeles, a big earthquake there, 6.4. So put it in perspective for us. How bad, how big is it? Well, it's big enough to cause tremendous damage. The Northridge earthquake was at 6.7, mm -hmm. just a little bit higher in magnitude, but it hit a populated area. The good news is this took place in a relatively unpopulated area of the Mojave Desert, about 100 miles away from the main San Andreas Fault. That's the good news. Mm -hmm. The bad news, however, is that the probability of a big one hasn't changed at all. You said we're long overdue? Long overdue. We're playing Russian roulette with Mother Nature. You realize that uh, the last big earthquake to hit the LA segment of the San Andreas Fault was, get this, 1680. Mm. That's over wow. 300 years ago. But the cycle time for breaks and earthquakes on the San Andreas Fault is 130 years. So we are way overdue. In any given year, the probability of the big one is 3% in any given year. Think about that. That's pretty high when we're talking about earthquakes. So here's a question for you. How good are we at predicting whether this earthquake is going to come tomorrow, the next day, or the day after? Yeah. Look, I'll be blunt. It's voodoo, black magic, <laughs> trying to predict when an earthquake is going to take place. The Japanese are the world's leader in this area, and they can only predict an earthquake perhaps maybe a few seconds to a minute before it actually hits. Wow. So we are children when it comes to understanding earthquake prediction. All we know are probabilities. In 30 years' time, 30 years, the probability of the big one is about 100%. How so we will see the big one. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. It's the law of physics. We keep hearing aftershocks, aftershocks, aftershocks. How worried should people be there? Well, we've had over 100 aftershocks so far, and they're going to continue for weeks on end. But the big aftershocks are largely taking place now, okay. perhaps an aftershock of 5.0. So the safest way to deal with this is what? To move? Move out of L.A. 100% <laughs> chance in the next 30 years? Get on the web. Learn about things, things you can do for the family. Talk to your family. Talk to your kids, loved ones about what to do. Stock up on food, water in case of an emergency. Go have an escape route. Yeah. Talk to your kids about an escape route. Get hooked up to the Internet or, or radio or whatever. Be prepared, basically, because yeah. it will happen. All right. All right. Professor Kaku, thank you so much for that information.